Scotch eggs, classic pub food favorite, warm, tasty, with a runny yolk in the middle. First thing you gotta do is boil your eggs. These eggs have gone into boiling water and cooked for six minutes, and then taken out and been plunged into iced cold water, all right, to stop that cooking process, and that's really important. Then once they've cooled, just peel the shell off, okay? And Scotch eggs are classically wrapped with sausage meat and this one is no different. I've got six sausages but I've taken the skins from them so I can just break them up okay. I want to give it a bit of an extra flavour, another layer and that's going to come from black pudding. It's not black pudding that's the predominant flavour but what it does do is it helps enhance that kind of sausaginess. And then another layer of flavour to go into that, some cracked black pepper, good pinch of that, good pinch of salt and then for texture and flavour dried fennel seeds and they're just going to go in. Just for a little touch of freshness, some sage. And I'm just gonna run my knife through it. The freshness that comes from that sage, the flavor of fresh herbs is amazing. So the sage goes in, and then with your hands, get them in. And what you do is you get the sausage and the black pudding and you just kind of like squish it together with your hands to form this lovely kind of sausagey paste. And I'm gonna divide that roughly into four you take your sausage mix, it's kind of flatten it out, but as you're flattening it out, you're kind of squeezing it together as well. Get your egg, put it into the mix, and gently wrap it over. Kind of work it round, but don't squeeze too tightly, because you don't want that egg to burst and pop. Just make sure it's covered. So that's the four eggs, all wrapped in their sausage meat blanket. They're ready to go. The next layer is the crispy outer bit that we want. Now these are these Japanese style panko breadcrumbs. You can give them just a little bit of a crush up, but there's an added flavor that I'm gonna put into them. Because we've got sausage in there with sage, we have here sage and onion stuffing mix, okay? The smell is incredible, you know the stuff. Pack so. Put a good sprinkling of that into the breadcrumbs, mix it together. Covering these scotch eggs, there's three stages to it. The first one is dipping them in flour, and that helps to keep a drier surface. Then this plate, I'm gonna crack three eggs, and with a fork, just mix them together. And then you take one of your sausage wrapped eggs, and you roll it in the flour. Make sure it gets completely covered, and then put it in the egg wash. Don't put both hands in the egg wash, just one. You roll this, make sure it gets completely covered, okay? So you've got that egg wash on it, drop it gently into the breadcrumbs, and then with the dry hand, roll the scotch egg in the mix. And that's it, all four of them are ready to go. So give yourself a good clean down. You can pop them into the fridge until you're ready to use them. I'm gonna cook mine pretty much straight away. So here, I've got a small little tabletop fryer, We've taken it to 170 degrees centigrade, okay? So I'm just gonna drop my scotch eggs in. I'm gonna do two at a time. So we're gonna do the first initial four minutes in the fryer, and then the rest of the time in the oven. Timer's on, four minutes, job done. Whilst that's going, I'm gonna make a little dip to go with it. Here, I have some good quality mayonnaise. Now this is beautiful in yellow because it's been made with rapeseed oil. So into that, I'm gonna put some English mustard, and then into that, I'm gonna put some freshly chopped rosemary. And just with a knife, it's gonna chop the rosemary up quite finely. And just give it a good stir. So this is gonna act like a, a dipping mayonnaise to go with our scotch eggs. Okay, out they come. The scotch eggs have been in the fryer for four minutes, and I'm just gonna finish them off for another three minutes in an oven that's preheated 180 degrees. They've been in the fryer, and now they've been in the oven. At this point, I'm just going to season them up, sprinkle a mold and salt, and it sits there, look, and all those crispy, crunchy, gnarly bits. So we've got four scotch eggs, rosemary mayonnaise dipping sauce, three on a plate, one here ready for me. Oh, look at that. Gorgeous, gooey, runny yolk. And the smell that comes from it is amazing. The sage, the onion, the sausage meat. Oh. That, my friends, is pretty much the ultimate Scotch egg.